My name is Helen Panagos, and I've been in the cruise industry for 35 years. Um, I love travel, I love destinations, and I have now had the opportunity to be with Crystal for approximately about a year. And to tell you a little bit about Crystal, Crystal has 25 years of being just voted year over year as the most prestigious luxury cruise. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the yachts. Now, there are five attributes. I talked about her size, so I won't go into that again. But I'll talk a little bit about her ambiance. Understated elegance, Everybody, everything has been thought through, from the lighting um, to also the engagement, uh, which is human element, right? It's the staff, it's the way that you're greeted, it's the way you embark, it's the way you get on to your check-in process, which is actually done in your suite to the fact that your butler comes in immediately to let you know where everything is. It's that type of an engagement that really allows people to believe that, oh my God, this is like almost home away from home. And then that continues, because it continues throughout every experience on shoreside, in the marina, but also in the dining, and also in the pre and post um, cocktails in the cove. And ultimately what happens is this, this extension of the family of Crystal that the staff kind of creates allows the guests to really engage with one another. Um, third is really the service. And that's really what sets, um, I think, Crystal apart. 1.5, it's almost one and a half people to every guest. So, and it's not intrusive, which I think is amazing because nobody's hovering over you. But they're always around, almost at the appropriate moment when you know that something is needed. That understated service is just, it's, it's just incredible. It's sublime, I think, for a lot of people. Now we pass the service as the third element and I go to the fourth, which to me is important. It's the culinary experience. And I have to tell you, um, Crystal has a name and a recognition with regarding the fact that they are Michelin star inspired. We t t take it to a different level on the Esprit. It's food to table, first of all, and it's almost like going into an alternate dining or a specialty dining every single night. It surprises and delights people. And I think that one thing that brings people together is food, but what really blows people away is when you hit gastronomy at a completely different level that not only delights them, but surprises them. And they can't wait on what you're gonna serve the next day because that in itself is an additional experience. So I think we definitely blow that away. Last is the destination. Nobody decides to go on a yacht. They decide to go to a destination. Why? Because they want to meet different people, understand different cultures. They want to do things differently than what they do day to day. So for us, it's critically important to design itineraries that not only, as I stated to you, are island hopping because we can get in where others cannot, but to go to destinations that are exotic, that are bucket list destinations that people want to go to. So in the first quarter of the year, we're in the Seychelles. We start from Mahi and we go to La Digue and to St. Dan. And it's brilliant, and Cousin Island. I mean, you see some of the most unique things there, whether it's the Coco de Mer or the Black Parrot. But you also then get to really go and get close to this tropical Galapagos through our wet landings. Um, to our surprises, we have a beach party that we do. It's those moments that you can't recreate because they're so unique. Or whether it is when we transition over to the Adriatic, which we just had our first sailing April 24th. And um, the Dalmatian coast, 150, I don't even know, some odd islands. We have the iconic ones, whether it's Montenegro, whether it's Split. But we go to places like Vis, or Sfar, or Zadar. You know, you can't get there. and but we take people there. So think of the backdrop that you have here. You have all of these water toys, you're on the ocean, right? You have this boutique hotel, that's what I call her, that's really lined up right up there, right on the shore side. And then on the backdrop, you're going off to these islands where we provide you with complimentary tours. Um, that's important to note, and I don't think I mentioned that. We provide an offering of two tours, Soft Adventure, as well as well as a cultural immersion. So this is a very different type of yachting and I can't imagine seeing these unique places any other way. The value for the money and what's really most important is the biggest luxury we have is our time. And so what we really need to do is choose for our clients the best way for them 
to spend their holiday vacation because really the luxury for me is time and if I can have it where I'm enjoying it with my loved ones in the best way then I think we've really got a goal there. <laughs>